Chapter 9 The Sword of Damocles Dave King's Report Have you ever wished you were a king? Does that seem like the best job a person could have? Well, before you decide for sure, listen to this legend that was made famous by the Roman writer Cicero more than 2,000 years ago. Damocles was a friend of Dionysius, the king of Syracuse, a city in southern Italy. Damocles envied his friend. He believed that the king had a very good life. He had all the riches and power he could want. What could be better? You think I'm lucky, Dionysius said to him one day. If you think so, let's trade places. You sit here on the throne. Try it for just one day. Then tell me if you still think I'm lucky. Damocles accepted his friend's invitation. He was eager to live the life of a king. When the day came, Damocles ordered servants to bring him fine robes. He had them set out a great banquet of food. He ordered expensive wine and fine music. He sat back, sure that he was the happiest man in the world. Then he looked up. He caught his breath in fear. Above his head was a sword. It was dangling from the ceiling, held by a single strand of horse's hair. Damocles could not speak. He could not eat. He could not enjoy the music. He could not even move. What is the matter, my friend? asked Dionysius. How can I conduct my life with that sword hanging above me? Damocles asked. How indeed, answered Dionysius. Now you know how it feels to be king. That sword hangs over my head every minute of every day. There is always the chance the thread will break. An advisor may turn on me. An enemy spy may attack me. I might make an unwise decision that brings my downfall. You see, my friend, with power comes danger. <laughs>